Are you running webinars, meetups, and you want to use JotForm as your registration form to send over users to AirMeet? Well, that is possible with our integration. I'm going to show you the steps on how to accomplish this. So follow me to my desktop right now. Hi everyone, my name is George and this is JotForm. Today I'm going to show you how to send over your user's registration to AirMeet. That means that when someone submits that form, that information is going to be sent over automatically to AirMeet to add them as a user. That way you can use your JotForm for your registration. Okay, so this is my JotForm dashboard. Let's get started by creating our new registration form. So let's go into create a form. And for this case, we're going to use start from scratch and classic form is okay. There we go. Now let's add some quick elements that we are going to need. So we're going to ask for the full name. We might ask for the address and let's ask for the country. This is a common field on Aramid. So we are going to find country picker. There we go. And the last but not least email. Okay. So this is what we're going to use for our registration form on AirMeet. So we're going to call it AirMeet registration form. Okay. That way we can locate it easily. There we go. Now, what do we have to do next? We are going to go into settings, integrations, and we are going to search for AirMeet. Okay. We're going to select it. And in this case, we are going to use this SAP. We're going to use Zapier for this integration. You can use other automation applications like Pabli Connect, Integromat, and other automation systems that allow integration with JotForm and AirMeet. Okay, so let's get started with this integration. And the first thing that we're going to do is connect our JotForm account. In this case, we are already connected. If not, connect a new account and you have to allow access. Let's go into next. We're going to use this form, AirMeet registration form. Okay, let's go ahead and click on next. Now it's grabbing the data from this registration form. And now it wants to connect to AirMeet. Okay, we're going to create a new account on AirMeet. We're actually going to connect to it. And it's going to ask us for the API access key and the secret key. We have to go into Pabli Connect. We have to go into AirMeet to grab those details. So let's go into AirMeet right here. Let's go into integrations, API access key, and we're going to generate a new one. So we're going to call it JotForm AirMeet. Okay. This way we can locate this later on in case we need to delete it for some reason, or we just need to keep track of our API keys. So it's this one right here. We're going to show secret. And now we have the access key and the secret key. So let's grab the access key and go into here we go. Let's add that there. Now we need the secret key. Let's go ahead and add it and let's go ahead and continue. Right now, what it's doing, it's reading the information from AirMeet. That way it's doing the access. Okay. So I just grabbed it. Let's go back into Zapier. So there we go. It's been connected. Let's go next. It's still reading the information. It's updating. There we go. And here we go. We have two air meets right here. Um, in this case, we're going to create a brand new event. So we have a recent one that we can use. Let's go into air meet. Let's go into events. We are going to create an event for this. You can create a meetup or a conference. In this case, we'll select the meetup and we'll just call this job form video test. Okay. Start day. We're going to add next week. There we go. And we're going to create the event. Okay. The meetup has been created successfully. In this case, we are not going to go into details of setup. We're just doing the automation. So let's go back into job form where we're working on our automation. We're going to refresh this list. There we go. It just updated. Here's job form video test. Let's go next. And here are the fields that we want to edit on Airme that we want to send over. So we'll send over the city and the country for this. Let's go next. 
Now we have to tie the fields from JotForm into this system so it knows where to send those data. It's connecting the dots, okay? So for the name, it's here. So for example, field name, it's describing it from JotForm. The email, again, we're gonna grab it from the email field. The city, it's something that we asked for. So that should be around here. There it is, San Diego. And the country, we also asked for that in the field. Let's see where that is. Here it is, country. There we go. We tied our fields with JotForm and Aramid for using Zapier. Okay, let's go next. There we go. It's going to send that information. Send the test. So remember, we're adding test at test.com just for testing purposes. Test registration sent successfully on Aramid. Let's go into Aramid and verify this. Okay, so now we are going to check this in the event entry. Let's check here. Participants. And here it is. So it's test at test, registration is attending, and registration is pending. We can remind the email because they haven't um, accepted it, okay? So it, the integration has been created successfully. So we can go into next, turn on the zap. Remember, if you don't turn on the zap, this automation is not going to work. So let's go ahead and turn that on. You can also create this automation inside of Zapier if you want to do that manually. So it's still working on that. Let's turn on the zap. Okay, there we go. The zap is on. If you want to manage the zap, it will open Zapier just to make sure that everything is working fine. So it's on. Remember the registration. It's it's using the action from JotForm to create a registration on Airmeet. Now let's go into our JotForm. There we go. Submission is enabled. We can go into publish. Open a new tab. And if I fill this data in with the address, we'll just street one again, the country, we'll just say anything right there and email, we'll go ahead and submit it. We'll skip the other fields. And there we go. That data has been sent over to Airmeet to create a new registrant. Now be aware that Zapier is depending on the plan that you're on. It will take a couple of minutes for this information to be sent over. Depending on the plan, it could go from five minutes to 50 minutes to send that data. But there you go. That is how you would automate the process and use your job form as a registration form to send on over that information to Airmeet to create new registrants. Well, we thank you all for watching and we'll see you on our next tutorials.